Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are installing a new torque converter on this modified Coleman mini bike that you've seen in other videos. And the old torque converter is worn out. The bearing's worn out in it. And uh, I wanna take this apart today. We're gonna take a look at it. You can see this if you're getting a lot of sound on a mini bike or a go-kart or whatever your application is. There's a lot of things out there that have this style of torque converter on it. The bearing's bad, you can hear it. Listen very carefully. Hopefully you can hear that well, it's making a lot of noise. And there's a lot of end play on the shaft here. Maybe you can see this. Which I think is contributing to the, or that's part of the problem, or maybe it got wear and end play and that's what ended up all this rattling back and forth might have been what did the bearing in. So let's take that snap ring off the back, see what's in here. There we go. Okay, we got it out. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We're gonna put this in the parts wash tank and clean it up. There is a spacer in between these that makes it a little tricky on getting them out. We don't care about putting these ones back in, obviously. We're gonna be able to destroy these. So I think we can move the spacer around. Um, th the spacer supports the inner race of the bearings and the shaft goes through there. And that just prevents the uh, inner race from trying to get blown out, you know, with, with side load. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a punch down in there. Once we clean this up, we'll be able to knock one side out then go back and knock the other side out. Now that it's cleaned up, we can see it in here. And boy, is that, that bearing is really rough. I'm gonna use a punch. I'm gonna go down, kind of push the spacer over a little bit. I can feel that it's on the inner race of the bearing on the other half. Now I'm just gonna pound that out. Okay. And the whole bearing came out, you can see here. And the spacer, of course, fell out too. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But there's really no way, that's the best way I can see of punching these out um, with the spacer that's inside of it. Now we can reach down in here, we do the same thing, hit it on this side, we'll knock this bearing out. I'm having a lot harder time with this one. Some of it's because you get this bouncing, this isn't sitting flat on here. I'm gonna move this. All right, now maybe it won't bounce as bad. And she still doesn't want to come out. So let's add a little bit of heat. Instead of using heat in the punch on this side, I decided to bring her over to the old green or number three. And I'm using a uh, wrist pin from a Ford 300 straight six to punch it out because that's a pretty good size. So let's see. Yep. Broke the outer or the inner race off. Started to remove the outer race. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to get this. I can see. We're going to have to go back to the punch, get it down in there till it contacts the inner race. We'll heat it up after all. Third time's a charm. Let's clean these up a little bit with a wire brush. I 
I had to order some bearings off the internet, so it's been a couple days, but they're here now. We're gonna finish this project real quick. But I don't want you to miss out. My next video, as I mentioned at the beginning of this with the little text there, we gotta make a new shaft. I don't like this shaft. It's, uh, it's almost 4 thousandths undersized where the bearing goes. So the new bearing is not gonna fit good on there. There's the potential. You can always use 609 green Loctite. That can cover probably up to 5 thousandths or so. But you, you'd have to do something here. I'm just gonna make it, I'm gonna use it as an opportunity to make a video. We'll duplicate, we're gonna break this down in the next video, duplicate the shaft. So you don't wanna miss out on that. But for today, these bearings you can get online. Um, Napa had an option for some of these bearings locally, but they only had one in stock and it was a China deal. And I didn't really wanna go with a Chinese one, although I'm sure that these ones that came out of it were Chinese. Uh, if you can see real close there, It's hard to see on the camera, but the part number is 6003RS. 6003RS. I decided to go ahead and order a brand new set of these from SKF, which are made in Italy. It's a nice bearings. We're gonna put those on instead because I, I just try to avoid as much as I can the China stuff. You can see the new SKF bearing here. Very smooth, nice bearing. So let's put them in. This is the spacer that's gonna go in between. And as I mentioned in, earlier in the video, this, all this does is support the inner race of the bearing. And the shaft goes through it obviously. So I'm gonna set that there. And I like to use a little bit of the green, 609 green Loctite. I just put a couple of dabs around the outside of this just to help that bearing, especially where driving these in and out, if you've done it multiple times too, you might end up getting a little bit of wear in there. So what I do is I just put a little bit along the outside. Now, when you do that, you wanna make sure none of that Loctite gets inside the bearing. I know these are sealed bearings here, but it can still get down in there, believe me. You do not wanna do that, it'll lock your bearing up. So, a 26 millimeter socket is pretty much perfect for matching the outer race on this bearing. And we're gonna use that to try to drive this bearing in nice and straight. You do not ever want to push on the inner race like we did when we took them apart because as you can see in that video, it pretty much blows them out. Uh, this, this is the material we're gonna use for the shaft and I'll talk about that in the next video. This is a piece, this is a link from a gigantic mill chain. Very strong material. that is fully seated still very smooth that's nice that's how you want it to go in let's do the other side do not forget to put your spacer in before you put in the new bearing Checking. It's going in great. Baron still feels nice. And you can see the spacers in there. It's got a little bit of movement. 
which is fine. That's what you want so you can get the shaft through. So that's how you replace your bearings on a torque converter that's used on mini bikes and go-karts and other things of that nature. Follow the next video so you can see how we're gonna disassemble this and recreate the shaft out of a link of mill chain. Thanks for watching.